Hey guys, Jimmy and today on Roblox we're playing some more Lumion Legacy as you can see on the screen right now. And today we're going to go over Mutagon. It is back okay and it is better than ever okay. So also before we hop into the video, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And with that being said, let's hop into the video line. Okay then, so I'm going to go over the Mutagon really quickly. So I'm using like basically the exact same Mutagon from a while ago. Just there's a couple of changes. There are a couple of new Lumions in the game now that are a little bit quicker that Mutagon is a little bit scared about. So we have to increase the speed a little bit. But on but it's practically the same for the person to be running Brawny to hit as hard as physically possible alongside our item which is our power cuffs again just like make all of your moves in your arsenal on Mugon to hit as hard as physically possible and both of these um, things are really really nice with the secret ability heavy fists because uh, Mugon all of its moves are uh, slapping and punching moves that you mostly want to use they get an increase in damage for 50% so also that 50% boost compared with like a 10% brawny personality boost and another boost from power cuss oh boy Mugon's doing some massive damage like it has always been doing so when Mugon first came into the game Game, it could like it could wall break but it struggled for things that are like quick on it like protagon zulong like when the if Mug uh, mugon is like chipped a little bit it can't really do anything for like quicker things on it but now it can with one new move so as you can tell we're still like running the exact same move set but we have one move that is different so we have mega punch our strongest brawler type move right now telekinetic sweep our strongest my type move brawn boost for setup for that massive output damage because oh boy mugan does massive damage and if you get a brawn boost off as well oh boy that's a lot of damage and then we were running frost punch originally on mutagun for like coverage and also like gavantes was pretty nice as well but we have now quick punch so like i said um mutaguns are like always like when it first came out it did struggle for things that are quicker than it especially if mutagun is weakened because its range defense isn't exactly the best thing okay but now that quick it has quick punch oh boy those quicker things like like i said protagon zulong things that quick punch can hit super effective or stuff like zulong that is a uh, very frail on the melee defense side they have to be careful if they're chipped because uh quick punch is gonna do some massive damage even though it's a priority move it is getting a lot of boost okay with mutagon's huge attack stat and then for the tps they've actually increased the speed a lot so um Basically what this does, you only need 192 to outspeed uh, Joltooths, but you might as well score the extra mile, I guess, to make it 200 to speed tie other Mutagons. 200 melee attack to hit as hard as physically possible. 36 energy in the TPs at level 50 lets you go for like a teleconnected sweep and then a mixture of all of these other moves, depending on what you want to use, so that's really, really nice. So pretty good energy there. And then the last is just the health, just leftovers that we aren't really using anywhere else. And that's basically it, so... Let's hop into the battles then. Okay then, hopping into the first battle then, and I think this is a pretty darn good team to go against. Weak to brawler, weak to brawler. Not exactly weak to brawler, but I mean, I can hit it really freaking hard, it's really frail. So, uh, this looks like a pretty good team, so uh, Mutagon, you look pretty darn good for this one. All on that, Mater looks amazing for the Falcon, in case I need something to swap into it. Just naturally okay. Okay then. I think this is a team I'm going to go with. I'm going to lead off with, um, I was going to call it Hydrina. No, what's it called again? I always call the final evolution Hydrina. It is Deladrix. I'm dumb okay. Also, that's a Festifer lead. Not exactly the best for me, but I think I'm going to stay in anyway. Festifer isn't really known for its range defense. Oh, no, wait. Is it its range defense that's high or is it its melee defense? I want to say it's its melee defense. It's been a while since I've battled a Festifer. Okay, well, unfortunately, my Deladrix doesn't die. Okay, he goes for ice cold traps. I actually didn't bring a fire type, now that I think about that, but that's not too bad. I'm just gonna Pharaoh Blast again, I guess. I'm, I think I'm just probably gonna go for a Deladrix sweep at this point, because um, pretty sure Deladrix was pretty good against his team as well. The only thing that's kind of annoying is Valkyrie, but I mean, I can get around that if I get a few piece of, mine, piece of mines off. So Festifer, most likely gonna go down. He lets it go down. I don't know if I agree with that. Pattern gift, okay. I mean, I'm really frail already, so I mean, it's not really going to help me that much anyway. I mean, yeah, I'd rather not have weakened health. Uh, but I'm going to get one shot by most things anyway, so it doesn't really matter. If it's going to be the um, the Volcalower, I might just gamble that I might outspeed it. It's Actually, no, there's, there's no... Uh, if it's normal, if it's nimble brawny, I'll outspeed it. But probably not. It's probably not. Also, my Garbantis is dead if it swaps in now. So I'm just going to stay in. I'm just going to go for the douse. I guess we'll see. 
it isn't very nimble. Nice. I gotta weaken it. Now, I can just quick punch it and ah, I just punched that on my desk. Never mind. It actually doesn't even one shot my Deladrix. <laughs> what? Well, hey, Deladrix is basically sweeping for us. Um, not exactly what I like to see. At least I don't have a, a Vesperatu for my Mutagon, but I have got- I brought Deladrix trying to help me with that, and there we are, finally, finally, a Falkyrie, okay. Just gonna click Douse, there's nothing really else I can really do now. I'm too low health, even if I swap out, I can't swap back in, so... Might as well use my last little bit of energy to get some nice damage, though. And then go into my Mutagon. I think I'm just gonna- oh, actually... Yeah, actually, I think I will go for the, um the brawn boost against the Falkyrie, because it, it kind of, it kind of like, a yeah, raging howl, but I mean, I resist light, Metal Blast, I guess, can hit me, but I don't think it'll one-shot me, so I am going to be a little bit greedy here, and I am going to go for the brawn boost. Don't really need to. I most likely, or actually, I outspeed it. Nice. That's actually really, really good. So, I'm probably going to sweep. Oh, actually, it goes for Lost Loot. I don't really agree with that one, but hey, I'm not going to complain, because that means now we're set up. I am, I basically can just quit click quick punch every t every turn now and that'll basically clean up the game but we'll click mega punch because i mean just in case i swap into like a garbantus i'd rather get as much damage as possible although if he does go into garbantus i want to say i can tank a battering gram uh, before he sets up burrows maybe maybe i, I want to say i can but I'm not entirely too sure about that one, I'm not gonna lie. Also, that's actually Valkyrie down. He only has two more Lumians. See you tonight? Well, sorry. Oh, it's terrifying. Dang it. Well, I'm plus one. So, I mean, I'm, I might as well just click Mega Punch again, right? I mean, it's even at plus one, I'm still doing massive damage. It's a secret ability me to go, so it's still gonna just absolutely nuke. Like that, for example. See Knight's huge melee defense stat? Yeah. Just basically punch through like butter. I don't know why Mutagon is punching butter, but I'm I'm not I'm not judging, okay? I am not judging. I might as well go for another Brawn boost just so we can actually go ahead and just one-shot Oko the Luminami, because Luminami can't have anything that can one-shot me. I mean, yeah, soft water? Oh no. What will I ever do now? <laughs> well, I'm just gonna click Brawn Boost again then, I guess. If we're gonna go for the one-shot, we might as well guarantee that we get the one shot, okay? Okay, don't drain all my energy now, man. That isn't cool. Ow. Um, I think Telekinetic Sweep does more damage, but it has a chance to miss, so I'm just gonna click um, Mega Punch again. Not gonna really worry about it so much. And that should be the battle, right? There we are. Nice. Let's hop into another one really quickly. Okay, Lynn, we got another battle, Lynn. Also, as you can tell, the music's fixed. you love to see it. Also, uh, that is a questionable. If he actually has a, um, a little cup, pre-evolution Garbantus. I mean, you can use it. Wouldn't really recommend it, though, that much. But, um, look at the team. I can I can use Mutagun against this team. I'm gonna have, like, basically quick punch most stuff, because, I mean, everything else is kind of scary, but I guess we'll try it. Um, probably not gonna be the best battle to showcase it, though. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go with this team. Uh, actually, it might be in the... No, I had, a. Uh, I think I had Garbantus instead of... Uh, Ikazune, but basically it's gonna lead off with the same thing and see what I can do. It's actually a tank Mutagon, okay, that's actually good for me. I could use this Mutagon to set up on my- with my own, but probably not really worth it. So, I- my Deladrix is definitely dead. Probably should have brought the Vesperatu, I mean, it is one of the best counters for Mutagon. You just can't really deal with it. Don't know why I didn't bring it, but oh well. So, I am just gonna go ahead and hit it. Douse does more damage because I have a Water Essence, so I'm also just click Douse. Not really gonna do- I mean, it's pretty good damage, I'd say, for a tank, right? That's pretty good damage, and I'm just gonna click Douse. Uh, after this, we'll go in- actually, clicks Quick Punch. That actually will probably still kill me. Yikes. Well, that's really unfortunate, man. I was kind of looking forward to, um, you know, hitting you again, but I guess not. Progon, unfortunately, can't stop in now. This is where Vesperati would be very nice to have. <laughs> so, uh, oh no, what have I done? Well, because he has Quick Punch, probably hasn't got Ice, right? So that means he only has Brawler on his mind, which means, Meditoad, it's your time to shine, man. You're gonna nuke something, okay? He's most likely gonna stay in. I think he'll I think he'll stay in and just try and get some damage on. Actually, no, he goes for the withdrawal, okay? So pre preserving the tank, I, ca I can agree. Galash is gonna get taken out, which actually is really, really nice, because a Quick Punch 
uh, from Mutagon is going to do a lot of damage to Garrelosh, but it has, like, some decent bolt compared to, like, stuff like Zulong for its melee defense, so... Yeah, getting rid of that early was, like, pretty good, because the Zulong isn't really too much of a problem. I mean, it is a problem for my team, but I think I should be fine. Anyway, there's a Siru Knight. Most likely going to click Slapdown, so I can't really go into the Ikazune, really, but I mean, I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, but yeah, he's probably going to go for the Slapdown, so I'm going to lose my item on Ikazune, which is fine. Um, yeah, Slapdown, okay. Okay, so we've got Siru Knight. Doesn't actually two-shot me, which is good to know. Because uh, I thought that would do way more, but it is Awakening, okay, not terrifying, so say maybe you know, it should be an offensive one if it, if it's like that. So here, I'm gonna, I want to click Energy Surge, is that a good idea or not? I want to click Energy Surge predicting the um, Zulong, because I don't want Zulong to swap in, but yeah. I guess I'll just click Thunder Strike, what's the worst thing that can happen? Well... The best thing that can happen is that we KO the Siren Knight, and that's exactly what we do. See you later, Siren Knight. So, again, unfortunate. I actually seem it's a little bit like tricky to set up against. I don't want to lose my item because that thing lets me hit really, really hard. Well, harder. Okay, there's the uh, Mute Gun again. Okay, um. I don't really want to lose the Ikazune because we can always like use it as a Thunder Strike bait, but we don't really need the Ikazune anymore, do we? I don't think we do, so. I think I'm just going to attack it again, go for the Fire Breath actually, chance to burn, might as well, right? Quick Punch, that shouldn't KO, because it's a critical hit, dang. That's not going to KO, look, it's not a secret ability one. If it was a secret ability one, maybe, but anyway, now that we got the, um, well, actually I'm just going to swap out, he's going to click Quick Punch again, there's absolutely no way he doesn't, so, going to go into my Mutagon, uh, and then I guess I can actually go for a Telekinetic Sweep here, get Quick Punch again, got him, nice, nice tank here. T tanker Mutagon. I was going to go for Telekinetic here. I'm not really going to set up. I don't think there's really any point. I already broke his uh, tank, so I might as well just get rid of it. And then I can try and like bring it out later. I mean, he's only got two Lumians left, so... What is it? Zbreeze it. Okay. Probably going to Pharaoh Blast me, which is a little unfortunate. But it's not the end of the world, really. Um, I might as well leave Mutagon in here. I am going to get our sped, so I'm just going to go for the Mega Punch on it, I think. I can definitely tank one Pharaoh Blast. Definitely, probably not too low. So, just going to hit it. Actually going to click Sap Plant. Interesting. Uh, this is probably going to like, what, maybe half damage? Yeah, it's pretty good damage. I'll, I'll take it. Okay, here, um, I kind of need the Meditoads. I kind of need the Meditoad for the potential Zulong in case it's like very nimble and it outspeeds my Protagon and it gets critical hit or whatever. So, I'm gonna swap out here so I don't get more health. Uh, more health. Pestilence is fine. It actually might KO me, which is kind of what I'm wanting so I can go back into my Mutagon straight away. Actually, Protagon is better to swap in here because I get a uh, range. Oh, I actually live. That's fine. He should outspeed me, make him waste a little bit more energy, I guess. Which is fine. Uh, actually, it goes for the withdrawal. Okay, so Spreeze it and it's actually Ragoon. Well, unfortunately, that was not the right play. <laughs> that was uh, not the right play at all. That, that Ragoon is uh, instantly dead. Don't really know what he predicted there, but hey, my Ikazuna is still alive. He still has to hit me again. So, don't really understand that play. But I am not complaining at all to get um, a free KO. So, yeah, Ragoon was a little bit annoying because it does have speed Mutagon can still my ability so I don't hit as hard but I mean after a brown boost I'm still gonna hit pretty hard okay goes for sad plant a little bit risky not gonna lie probably I actually burnt it as well probably should have clicked a move that did instant damage because uh, yeah now you got hit by a range attack which you're not really range defensive and I actually burnt you as well so yeah don't really enough about that one anyway let's have, just have mutagon clean up the game then We'll just click, click uh, Quick Punch, even with the um, this hard candy built, we should still be able to KO it, right? And there we are, I got a critical hit! Wasn't necessary at all, but I'll take it. 